when you see me we know the welcome is not over we have to do our stewardship welcome so we are going to turn to the left and the right and say brother friend sister so and so happy sabbath and then time is of the essence so uh, brother smith happy sabbath time is of the essence i didn't hear yeah you are already tired you are already tired you have heard a common saying over and over again that we are all in the same boat right and do you agree yes it depends but for this moments uh, this moments presentation based on the economic crisis of the people that go through i want to declare that we are not all in the same boat you might uh, you might want to know the details of it well it's very clear uh, based on our abilities we have different ships next slide please so we are not all in the same boat but we are all in the same storm the difference is we have different vessels to travel in the storm some have ships some have uh, yachts uh, some have motor boats some row boats some canoes and some are swimming and some are drowning it's based on our ability we survive in the storm now as a church family as a community even as countries we need to support each other if we want to pass this storm right now you might wonder why i am like this today now when you see me do you think i am in need i am in need of food no but 23 years ago i was wearing this same jacket but i was in need of food i had tears the church i went to the pastor would have a one second comment in the foyer happy sabbath how are you and he's gone and one day i caught him i said don't ask me how are you if you have no time to listen to me and that day i talked to him for 2 hours and finally he took me to places like uh, camp frenda and other places to testify to make my testimony known to other people because nobody knew that i was not swimming i cannot swim so i was drowning in the storm people can be looking different outside but sometimes because of our economy is so down or we are going through sickness because sickness takes people's money away no matter how rich you are so based on many things in life what we do is we sacrifice our many other necessities like clothing and downsizing our living and uh, not taking care of the kids in a different way uh, in a proper way because we need money for food so when we have food a shared between us or when we supply enough food for someone who is going through a difficult time then they will they can use their whatever the money that they earn to other things to educate the children to take care of sickness things like that so food is never Uh, never never ever a uh, thing that we should take lightly on on someone's need uh, this is from a different religious person but he says that makes sense for us a man is not a believer who fills his stomach while his neighbor is hungry Because
cause he's given Jesus Christ.